Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, 12 o'clock location. We have Crossy starting, or Cross, I guess, depending on how you want. This is going to be on Ascension, starting as the Blue Zerg, bottom left-hand corner. We have Cello, a.k.a. Cadenzi, starting as the Black Zerg. I am happy to highlight Cadenzi this time. Cadenzi is, uh, I believe, a Scottish? Might be off on that. From the UK, um, Zerg player. Actually went to Korea, tried to be pro for a while. Is a very, very talented Zerg player. Um, and... Very, very high MRR. Actually, I feel like if you check out, I think so Scottish is correct, getting that from chat. Um, if you check out BSL, I think Cadenzi's in a group of death, actually, as far as Gosu League goes, in the same group as uh, looks like Mars Seriosity, uh, and I'm forgetting the, the fourth player in that grouping, but that's going to be a really fun match to watch. Between Crossy and Cadenzi, we'll see how this is Zerg versus Zerg. I, if I recall seeing some of Cadenzi's games, Cadenzi is very very good at zerg versus zerg and has pretty incredible zerg micro i think cadenzi ended up playing um bisu once upon a time i remember seeing a, a match of that out there and actually did very very well and if it wasn't for kind of a sneaky drop that bisu was able to execute although it was bisu's terran never the, nevertheless looks like we're gonna see a nine pool extractor trick from crossy at the 12 o'clock location, I think we are going to see... Yeah, we've already seen an Overlord first build. So, 12th pool from Cadenzi equivalently bottom left. <clears throat> which is going to put the onus on uh, Crossy, potentially, to get more Zerglings out and do more economic damage. Cadenzi going to end up with the drone count lead currently sitting at one and also the supply lead as far as having the openings to do so. So, Aggression is going to play more in Crossy's favor. Overlord also is going to end up being advantageous for Cadenzi's making its way to the upper right. Still no drone scout. The Zergling is going to be doing the scouting for Crossy here. Nine Zerglings being produced. Cadenzi going ahead and grabbing gas. There's that spawning pool uh, being built as well. And a second expansion being grabbed for both players. So as far as build orders go, this is a decent advantage to Cadenzi right off the bat, seeing these Zerglings making their way across, but going to need to produce sufficient Zerglings to go ahead and defend and have some decent micro to go ahead and fight them off. Natural expansion. And actually with Ascension, as far as the way the map works, I believe they get right around here when those Zerglings spawn. We'll see. Oh, nope. I'm way off on that. They're only like at the natural... It looks like that third as the Zerglings are spawning. So the Zerglings flooding across. Crossy being greeted. This is not what he wanted to see. So he's going to go ahead and retreat. And keep in mind with that economic uh, lead, having kind of that additional base out. I actually like that, blocking the gap. Because of this nice little gap in Ascension, trying to get the, the favorable exchanges right there. Things are setting for both players a little bit. Looks like Condenzi about halfway to Lair. Lair just now starting for Crossy. So Crossy going to be behind both in having that natural expansion up by a sliver of time but also going to be behind as far as that layer timing. So it's going to be up to him to get something accomplished to win this match. Single Zergling sneaking through. Four Zerglings trying to do some harassment like Kenenzi going ahead and blocking this natural expansion. And Crossy just trying to be annoying with this Zergling in the meantime to prevent this natural expansion from being productive. Creep Colony planted down from Crossy and leaving it unmorphed. I'm almost wondering if he's already going to opt to maybe go for an evolution chamber uh, and is just planting that just in case. Uh, doesn't really have eyes on what's going on inside Cadenzi's main. So doesn't know essentially whether Cadenzi is going to be going for like a full uh, Zergling press or, or what. Spire, however, is being built. Layer just finishing for Crossy. I think Crossy knowing, seeing that the Zerglings weren't flooding across at this stage of things knows that it's not just like a pure Zergling flood. Um, but more Zerglings actually making their way across. This Zergling able to sneak through. Still two Zerglings to go ahead and block that additional base, but they may be able, may be able to take some pot shots at some drones. But Cadenzi actually pressing forward with these Zerglings. I'm not sure I like this play because of the gap right there on Ascension. Kind of that Blue Storm gap that is forcing a Sutton Colony at that natural expansion. Spire about halfway finished. <clears throat> and it looks like the Spire, I don't know, this is going to be significantly ahead. And the critical thing for Cadenzi is ha it's going to be able to grab this second gas, first of all. Um, drone's about even. Some Zerglings flooding through from Crossy 
getting an end around and actually catching a handful of these Zerglings out of position. And really going to work on those Zerglings. So Crossy now with a big Zergling Flood. Keep in mind, Cadenzi does not have a Creep Colony on her side of the map. Trying to get to that gap, not able to do so. And Crossy, once again, with overwhelming amounts of Zerglings, that's forcing a Creep Colony here. And this is buying Crossy the time he needs to get that differentiation. Also might be able to pick off a handful of drones here. Nice defense from Cadenzi, though. Not losing any... So one drone down. But keep in mind, one drone can be two drones down, can be all the difference in this matchup. Is that drone going to survive? Looks like that drone is going to live. More Zerglings flooding their way across here. The Sutton Colony is up. Cadenzi able to blockade the rest of those Zerglings here. But critically, that delayed some of these Mutalisks from being produced. And also bought time on Crossy's side of the map to go ahead and get some Mutalisks in production himself. So he's already got five Mutalisks. He's just now grabbing that second Distractor. And Cadenzi is going to be sitting at three as far as that count. And she's a drone down at the end of all this. So nice play from Crossy overall. Really doing what he needed to do to stay in this match. Some Zerglings look like they managed to... I'm not sure when those Zerglings... Was that actually an intentional drone kill? I think I missed a drone being picked off right there to even things up from Cadenzi. When did she sneak those through? Some more Zerglings actually look like they're just going to go for a run by. That's going to force these Mutalists back. That's going to allow Cadenzi to go ahead and... Is she going to get another drone kill? Trying to focus there. So those Zerglings being picked off. Another, the Extractor being grabbed once again. I think the Extractor was cancelled to allow a little bit of additional minerals somewhere in between. Right now, Crossy, I feel like has the lead, mostly because he has the superior Mutalist count. He's got six Mutalists, also able to pick off that Overlord and has free reign currently. The Zerglings trying to hunt and find Overlords out here. It looks like this one's going to get spotted, potentially picked off as well. This is five Mutalists. There are some Scourge. To potentially engage this, but they're out of position right now. And I think this Overlord is not long for life. Crossy, yeah, picking that off. Now Cadenzi in a lot of trouble. In the red, it's going to force another Overlord. And that's a huge mineral cost. 200 minerals. Big advantage. And that's minerals you wanted for Mutalisks. Cadenzi pushing forward. Trying to engage here. Unfortunately, not getting the better part of this engagement. Scourge moving in. The Scourge landing, it looks like, on both sides. Cadenzi trying to regroup. And press back, but that's just two Mutalisks left versus the six, and that's GG for Cadenzi. Oof. I gotta say, for a bit there, I'm like, Cadenzi's got this, no problem. But Crossy, with that nice Zergling sneak by, being down a drone, also picking up those Overlords and just delaying those Mutalisks, great play. I'm not sure that was my best cast, but uh, great play from both players, particularly Crossy, to sneak back into that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for listening.